I'm using the Annie Sloan chalk paint in the color duck egg for my first coat on the chandelier. I'm also using her small brush by Annie Sloan. So you want to dip your paintbrush in and kind of dab off the excess. And I like to start up at the top and you just want to put a thin coat. So it definitely doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to put another color over it as well as making it look distressed. So imperfections are okay. Now, if I was going to spray paint this, I would have put some tape here. But since I'm just painting it with a brush, there's no need for me to put tape there. because on a lot of chandeliers they're white and you can replace them but this is the same color as um, the rest of the chandelier so I'm going to go ahead and paint these the great thing about the chalk paint is it will dry fairly fast on metal so by the time you're done with one side you should be able to flip it over and keep, you know, working around the edges. I'm also going to use the Annie Sloan Pure Stencil Brush because the small brush isn't able to get into all the little nooks that it needs to get into. So any smaller brush would work for this. So it has its first coat. I have another coat that I'm gonna put on it in the white. And so right now I'm going to wash out my small brush and my stencil brush with this lye soap. Um, you just lather up your brushes, stick it in the lye soap, and that will clean out your brushes. So I'm going to be using Annie Sloan's chalk paint in pure white to put on the top of it. And I just have like a small sample bottle of it. And I'm also going to be using just a regular paintbrush, nothing fancy. So I'm going to use very little of the white, so I have a paper towel, and I'm just going to dip my brush in the lid. I really don't want that much, and I'm going to wipe it off on a paper towel, and then that's even too much. Just dry brush the white on. And this is just going to add a little bit of white to the edges. Here, I hope you can see a little bit. After your piece is completely dry for the day, the next day you want to use just a little bit of the dark wax. And this is the Annie Sloan dark wax and I'm going to use that same 
stencil brush from yesterday and I'm just going to apply it lightly to the edges. When you stick your brush, you want to just dab it down. You don't really want much on your brush at all. And then I'm going to put it around the edges. If I get too much, I'm going to come back in with a paper towel and just wipe it off. But I'm not putting nearly as much as I did with the white because I want the white and blue to be more dominant colors. This is just so it looks aged and distressed. 